And we're back now with our special series, Addicted To, and a man who says he's addicted to everything. Alex Wood is a comedian who realized he had a serious drug problem and needed to get clean. So he did, but he did not stop with drugs. Next came caffeine, biting his nails, cigarettes, red meat, dairy, porn, credit cards, gossip, and sugar, to name a few. And now Alex is quitting technology in the form of all of his social media and even his smartphone. Alex hosts a podcast about his journey called Alex Wood Quits Everything. Welcome, Alex. Thanks for having me. Thank you so much for being here. So why detail all of this with a podcast? Uh, I've always been a fan of podcasts, and I like the like, unfiltered aspect of it, and I get to control everything. And instead of a blog, you can hear in my voice what I'm going through. Have you had professional help in beating any of these addictions? So I've gone to AA meetings. Uh, I have a circle of friends who are also sober, and we kind of help each other stay accountable. Uh, I've read books and blogs, but I haven't gone to rehab or even therapy about it. Why do you say you're addicted to all those things? Were you actually addicted to red meat and dairy, or is that just like, okay, I should get rid of those because I don't think they're good for me? Well, uh, in 2009, I weighed 240 pounds, so I would say yes, I for sure was. Um, I never had fruits and vegetables. I just, I only pretty much ate pizza or takeout. And I definitely felt I was using food also as a, as a crutch in the same way I would drugs. Mm -hmm. So obviously you have addictive personality. A little bit, yeah. Yeah, right. And, and I mean, this, we've seen this happen with people who have um, sometimes weight, weight reduction surgery where it's like the addictive eating then gets transferred to a different kind of addiction. And this, I mean, how was this affecting your, your happiness? Uh, I definitely was suicidal in my early 20s. I, when I first got clean off of cocaine, which I relapsed many times, but I, I sort of transferred the cocaine addiction over to everything else. Mm -hmm. And uh, I just, I wasn't ever really miserable all the time, but I was either in ecstasy uh, or just despair. I was either a uh, one or a 10. That's the only way I, I lived my life. And now where are you? Constantly at a seven, which sounds... Seven's good. Sounds boring, but it's great. No, seven's good. Seven's yeah. solid. Let's talk about the social media. Because that... I mean, I think probably everyone in this room can relate to the feeling of being addicted to your smartphone. How hard has that struggle been? So I was amazed the first few days. I, I quit social media February 1st, and I was absolutely blown away the similarities that I was going through when I quit drugs and alcohol with social media. So for instance, the first day I woke up, February 1st, my very first instinct was to reach for my phone mm -hmm. to check Facebook. And I was like, oh, that's kind of funny. That's the first thing I do when I wake up. And then 30 seconds later, my brain went, no, seriously, check Facebook. And I was like, well, I, I can't, I quit it. And then I started monitoring for the podcast how many times that day I had the inclination to check social media. It was 56 times. And that's not even counting other ways I would check my smartphone. Like so your I'm, email and your texts and exactly. so on. Exactly. Do you ever forget your phone somewhere? Yeah, yeah, it's or terrible. Leave it at home? It's a terrible feeling. It's a panic. Yeah. You feel like you're not fully complete. Like you're missing a And as a somebody part who's been addicted to so many things, can you, is that familiar? Like, is that thing we're feeling? what you feel when you're trying to give up one of these other addictions? Yeah, definitely. You're, you're really concerned about what your life is gonna be like. And I remember when I first quit drinking, I thought, how, how am I going to live without this? I, I, I didn't even, I thought I would be a completely different person and I thought I'd be miserable. And it was a lot like that with social media. And it was amazing to me how many people in my life, when they found out I was quitting social media too, they reacted the same way when I told them I was quitting drinking. They were like, how? How are you going to do this? Mm -hmm. Why, what are you talking about? Because there's also peer pressure to partake, partake in that. For sure. I am not on social media and haven't been in a long time. If I have something I want to post, I'll email it to a teammate and they'll, they'll post it. And I must tell you, I am so much happier as a result. So much happier. If, if you just choose to live in the real world and not the virtual one, I actually think it, it raises your level of happiness. I'll give you the last word on advice to others. If you want to quit anything, uh, just do it. It sounds so simplistic, but we, we give ourselves these excuses and we always justify why we're doing things, but you really have to want to quit something and you have to hold yourself accountable. Mm -hmm. That's what I would say and also reach out for help. Absolutely, well said. Thank you. Thank you. Good luck with it.
And a reminder, we have more information on our website at today.com slash Megan Today. Hello, Today fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.